co-host along with Dr. Tenjin for tonight. And uh, this talk has been proposed for uh, in early fall, uh, I think, I guess I should say autumn in uh, British English. Um, but due to various reasons, it was uh, postponed till today. And this talk was um, uh, is sponsored by two alumni associations, and, um, and namely Tongji uh, Medical College Overseas Alumni Association and uh, Huazhong uh, University of Science and Technology uh, Alumni Association at UK. Uh, thanks to connections of doctors, uh, then uh, Cha Zhidao and uh, Shu Di. And I hope uh, you all are gonna enjoy this most interesting topic on the most mysterious history of our very own Union Hospital of Tongji Medical College. Now, uh, I'll have Dr. Denjing to introduce the speaker. Please, okay. Dr. Den. Thank you so much, Charles. And a good day, and everything our schoolmates, and uh, everyone who are with us today. And I see some familiar faces, including some very best friends of uh, Welford, and Miss Dwinson and uh, his wife just put the head in and out. And yeah. Also, actually, um, there are some people who join in from China, which is um, 3.30 in the morning. So thank you very much. I think, uh, as Charles said, it's quite a mysterious uh, history about um, Union Hospital. And because our school is called Tongji Medical College, which is what known as Tongji Hospital today in Wuhan, and but been founded in 1907 by a German doctor in Shanghai. Our college first teaching hospital is always called Union Hospital, and its foundation is about 40 or 41 years older in Tongji. So it's, it's quite a fascinating story. And, and incidentally, and I was called Uncle Lam, Deng Shu. And I, I don't think I'm that old. And, but today, we have a real grand figure here. And the grandest uh, schoolmate and who is going to speak to our Zoom series. And uh, I think it's 85 or 86 years old now. 86 years old. Uh, so nearly, nearly, nearly 86, yes. Yeah, 86 years old. And mm -hmm. so 86 year old unionist, Xie He Ren, and the point in Wuhan and the in Union Hospital, I believe. And uh, he's also holding a license to practice in Union Hospital. Yes. So he's a truly schoolmate and not just an honorary one. <laughs> and also, coincidentally, I was found he was a, actually a footballer or soccer player in the States. Uh, you like to say that of some uh, of Royal London Hospital. And Royal London Hospital is the arch rivalry rival against the St. Bart's Hospital I'm currently working with. <laughs> so that's that's an interesting story, but. Uh, Luckily, we have made the two hospitals has made peace and many years ago and jointly forming the biggest national health services in the UK. So it's the largest um, hospital groups um, in UK and also in size. I'm not sure whether in size is larger than uh, Tongji Medical School hospitals. We got about uh, uh, 17,000 uh, staff right now. And the rivalry is a bit of like uh, Tongji and the Union in some way, anyway. Yeah. So, and, but uh, the invitation for uh, Mr. Gideson to speak here, it's not due to nepotism. It's due to the great efforts um, put by two additional speakers today, Dr. Zidao Xia and his wife, 
E C， 夏之岛和那个苏迪。It's actually Sha has made a considerable or significant contribution to the strong tie between、uh, Union Hospital and the UK Swansea Medical School over these years. I shouldn't say even made a contribution to the stronger British and the Chinese relationship. As you saw him recently showing the new British <coughs> ambassador in around Union Hospital, but the webinar is was conceived actually after I read book、uh, translated by、um, his wife, D or Di, and、um, written by today's main speaker, Doctor, or in the British way, Mister. Because uh, in a、uh, British medical system, we call a surgeon who is certified by Royal College with a very senior status status is Mister, not no longer Doctor. So、uh, in Chinese, is Ji Hua Fu Wai Ke Dai Fu. So it's my great honor to invite Mister Wilfred Gillison to give us this talk. Thank you. Please.